What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, this one is a little different, a little more of a vlog style. Had a huge opportunity to travel to Texas. Um, Continental Tire basically flew us down there and um, it's kind of like a training and a testing you know, of their new tires in comparison to um, their competitors. Uh, it's called the Proving Grounds. I didn't get to film as much as I wanted to down there and I wish I could have explained more while I was driving and, and testing the tires. I was able to soak in more of the actual event and enjoy myself instead of worrying about you know getting certain shots or you know commentating on what exactly is happening. So my flight left about 7 in the morning and um, got to, well I got I had a layover in Dallas and then went to San Antonio. Got to my hotel and we had about an hour before dinner which they uh, provided dinner. Basically the whole trip they provided everything which is awesome. The flight there, the food, um, the open bar <laughs> each night. going on you guys I'm just getting settled down this is my room which I don't know why they gave me such a big room there's literally like two beds in this thing and uh, a little sofa and um, nice TV area the bathroom is actually pretty nice too pretty big and look at these ceilings I don't understand this anyways I'm very fortunate to be here. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm um, about to get ready here for dinner. And then um, I guess tonight we get to do whatever we want. And then tomorrow morning we're we'll headed to the track. So I'm, again, I'm very fortunate. Thank you Continental for throwing this and inviting me. And yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Dinner was good. I had a little bit of a a meeting on what, what, like what to expect for the... Uh, the actual training. Afterwards, again, like I said, there was an open bar. I didn't really drink too much because my main priority was getting out there on the track and not feeling like I had to throw up. So. Just meet with everybody for breakfast and then we're gonna head up right after. So, yeah, I'm ready for a nice fun track day. My hair's going crazy right now. I forgot my gel at home. Time for breakfast. So, the next morning, I got a lot of sleep. I lost two hours because of the time zone difference but I was able to get up I think it was like four o'clock in the morning and um, headed on the bus actually we had breakfast and right from there we jumped on the charter bus and it was about an hour and a half drive to Uvalde Texas and that's about 70 miles away from the border
So the drive wasn't so bad because one, we were on a pretty nice charter bus and um, they also had a movie playing, um, Talladega Nights, which is one of my favorite movies anyways. Um, there wasn't really much scenery because it is kind of in the middle of the desert. We uh, arrived at the track. We had a, a short briefing on what we were driving. There's four sections. So where there was um, a dry track, a wet track, um, a skid pad, and then also an off-road section, which was really fun. So for the dry track, we drove two Mustangs, and each with um, a different set of tires. So on the on uh, obviously the Continental Mustang, we were on General G Max RS, their new ultra high performance um, summer tire. So against the BF Goodrich G Force Comp Twos. And on that drive, I, I did feel a little bit more comfortable with the uh, G Max RSs. I just felt like I could throw it out around more. It was a little more uh, predictable on the corners. And um, not that I lo necessarily lost grip on either one to the point where I didn't feel like I felt like I was going to lose the car or I was engaging the uh, TCS too much. But um, yeah, it definitely felt a lot more stable and a lot more predictable in the RS, the G Max RSs. While we were at the dry track, there was actually a professional BMW driver, uh, instructor, and um, he took us out in a new M3, and those had the extreme contacts on them, and that was a blast. Um, I wish the audio was better because I had my enclosed GoPro case. Videos don't do justice of how fast you're going, the G-forces that you're pulling. And he was going fast. I think on the straight the stretch before his braking, he ended up going about 125 or 130 before he actually braked. Uh, he started the brake for the first turn, so uh, that was pretty sick.
So now, last but not least, we also got to go off-road with uh, brand new Jeep Rubicons, and those had the general ATXs on them as well. And uh, also got to ride on these custom buggies by Zero One. So Zero One is a, a company in Vegas, I believe, and they do off-road tours, and uh, they brought a couple of their buggies. Um, it was really cool. They, it's basically a custom uh, setup with um, it was an EJ25 motor, so a Subaru boxer motor that they had in those things, and those had the General uh, Grabber X3s on there um, on those buggies. I thought we were just going to do a ride along, but we actually got to drive that, and I honestly wish they gave us more time on those things because we got two laps, and on the second lap is when I really started to get into it, and the instructor the whole time was just telling me to to you know step on it. So I definitely wasn't as comfortable at first and then when I started getting it, it was time to bring it in. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Yeah, I just wanted to give a huge shout out to uh, my managers, Yogi and uh, JP for making this happen and getting me to go. Uh, Kron, which is our Continental rep. Everybody at Continental for being so awesome. Uh, I felt like everybody was super cool, super nice, and um, just ex excited to be there. Just made the whole, the whole experience that much better. Uh, Zero One for being there and uh, hooking up with those rides like with the buggy rides and I know that you guys did a lot of help on um, just kind of getting everything to run smoothly. As always you guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, that pretty much sums it up and we'll see you guys in the next video. Later. <laughs>